Nets trail by four. Griffin goes in. And Simmons with the rebound. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Seth Curry. And there's the call on Curry. Team second. That's his first foul. Yeah, the line up the Nets. And Brooklyn has possession. Now it's Thomas running. He can go all the way. And again, it's the Nets missing. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by seven. And here's Mills for three. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. At the line. The Nets have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Three shots. You've got to appreciate their ability to make free throws. 81% as a team. And he sinks the second. And he nails the third. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. The Nets working the ball around now. Here's Aldridge Love on target it. from 13 Aldridge. feet. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. For three, Harris. The shot's good, Brown making the play. Joe Harris has zero doubt about his ability to knock down range shots. How pretty is that? Here's Aldridge. And it is good at the buzzer. Wow. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Nets lead by five. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And taking a look at the Nets' performance here, guys, uh, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Just stretching out the floor that first, well, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and, and still have a good offense? Well, I, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter, keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure on the defense. Poked away. And here comes Harris, leading the fast break. And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That is his first foul of the game. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Here. Nets trail by five. Pass to Durant. Here's the three. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. I'll tell you, KD has such a beautiful looking stroke. He's been doing that at an elite level for a long time. One thing Irving's been doing more of using his offhand in the lane to hit floaters, and even on jump shots. This guy is so creative, so inventive. The ability to make last-second adjustments, and I mean that whether he's in the air off his feet or with his handle, his ability to keep defenders guessing is truly incredible. 
from KD. You can't let Simmons get going off of these dunks. His confidence just soars when he slams it down like right there. Durant in the corner. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Outside, Simmons. Driving inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First foul. Team second. And how chaotic was Back this offseason for Simmons. Simmons? I mean, the trade Stepping rumors the swirling, stepping back from Team Australia, ultimately traded. And you talk about someone just dying for a fresh start. And Doris, you can feel Andre Drummond's presence all over the floor. But, but it's really on the glass where he is truly oh, at his God. most dominant. He is From nearly Kyrie. unmatched in terms of his rebounding ability. This guy is a multi-time league leader in that stat. He works so hard to secure possessions for his team. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. We're one of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. Irving from long range. Cans it from downtown. Irving's got six in the quarter. Boy, he's putting pressure on the defense. That's two from downtown this period. And Seth Curry is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second foul. And that's foul number two. Team. Maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another foul. Kyrie Irving doing second work quarter. with the pass. That's pretty. Ben. That's trail by six outside Curry. Rebound Andre Drummond. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. And it's Kyrie Irving with the three. Irving's got 12 points in the game. And the three-pointers are starting to add up. That's his third of the quarter, and it brings him to four on the game. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. And more than one observer, Greg, has called Irving the most entertaining player in the game. What do you think? A lot of competition for that distinction. But Irving does some things that no one else can, at least at his level. And then you never know when he's going to give us a juicy soundbite. Substitutions for the next. Blake Griffin, Nicholas Claxton, Cameron Thomas. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Irving. Will it go? And he sinks the layup. Irving. Irving's got his second basket. Well, you know you're going to see some great ball handling when Kyrie is on the floor. Nice finish. Out of bounds. And it's out of bounds. Best touch by Curry. Durant with the steal. And the shot goes down. KD's got the lead up to nine now for the Nets. Well, we know Kevin Durant can score from all three levels. That one a chippy for him. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And he drives in. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. On the top of the key. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. Uh, what a wizard Kyrie is in the open floor. Utilizes his speed to help create open shots in transition. That's beautiful. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Irving for three. Sinks the triple. Irving's got 20 points. Whoa, he really got his defender on his heels on that one. What a fantastic play, guys. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Sinks the three-pointer. 
boy, do not fall asleep on Kevin Durant. Catch and shoot, forget about it. Now a timeout.